a UK darling scoring zero points, a Yoro Papa getting ejected, and a contestant that probably should have sat this one out. Woo, it is time to talk Eurovision 2024. The Eurovision 2024 finale was on May 11th, and we're going to discuss all of our thoughts and reactions to the performances. We did do a Eurovision 101 episode a few <laughs> weeks ago with Talking Trash Eurovision, and that episode had great feedback, so we thought we might as well do a part two and discuss this year's competition, and we want to hear all your thoughts too. So definitely let us know oh, what your yes. favorites and least favorite performances were uh, from this year in the comments, and you can DM yes. us as well. Yes. Yes. And a special shout out to our Patreon producers, Lily, Louie, Emily, Julia, and our newest crew member, George. Woo! Welcome, yeah. George. Yeah. And if you have any special episode requests and you want to access some bonus episodes, come join us at patreon.com slash CCTV pod. And if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. We have awesome conversations about pop from around the world. And we're talking about we the, the pop from Europe right now. So hello. Look at us. Yes. Global. And I'm excited. <laughs> this is the first full Eurovision show I have ever watched and I had a great time valid same (laughs) yes Um, but before we even get into the performances we have to mention Juiced Klein of the Netherlands as you mentioned in your cute little intro (laughs) they were disqualified the night before the competition did you Um, hear why yes I think some of the details are still it's not like fully out right like there's some yeah there's it's some a uh, sketchy. Yeah, there's some uh, uh, conflicting report accounts. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's giving a little sketch, Magetch, but it's okay. It Unfortunately, I feel like he would have been a strong competitor. Such I think a strong competitor, like a... definitely. I'm sure a lot of like the ones who voted for, you know, the Ugh. weirder songs like Windows 95 Man and Baby Lasagna and all that, like they I, got I, a yeah. lot of more votes, maybe because the Netherlands was disqualified, I... but. Justice for off. Euro Papa because that was definitely a standout when yeah, we did poor baby. our oh. first episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Let's hop right into it hmm. with Sweden, starting with Marcus and Martinus with hmm. Unforgettable. Hmm. All right. So, hmm. was this unforgettable for you? Because, uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was not unforgettable. It wasn't okay. bad. Um, yeah. You know, I, I enjoyed the backing track. You know, Sweden's known for its pop music. So it just made yes. sense to give us this like synthy goodness, you know, this kind of dance pop song. It was a little generic, though. Mm-hmm. I think the melody is like fine. I like the yeah. idea of a pop duo made of twins, you know, like Cute. that just yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. The two of them, their voices are just like, OK, you know, it's kind of like a generic thin male voice they were stable singing live though yes uh, and i thought yeah, the performance does. itself was cool like the, the corridor expanding oh, the yeah. lighting kind of all over was really cool mm-hmm. i do wish the choreography went a little harder because it kind of just um, felt very basic yeah it was very much like it wasn't giving like boy band like had to hit you with a little leg motion it was just like it lean wasn't. to the right lean to the left yeah <laughs> that's valid that's valid um i get the feeling from these guys that they would be stronger contenders if they just keep practicing like i don't know how old they are but the potential is there in a sense like it felt decent but there was more to be desired for me and i feel like with the editing it was like a teen drama version of the matrix um like the editing the like the like the effects rather yeah yeah i was giving teen drama version um it wasn't (laughs) a stand out but they were a fun little opener like you know cute this is like yeah, let's, yeah, they could have done a little better, though. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, sorry, so I will give them a seven. How about you? That's solid. I I agree. I'm going to give them a seven too. I don't I don't I don't think I was going to score any higher. Sorry. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they ultimately got to ninth place. Okay. That's really good among twenty five. So they actually, considering yes, they did very well. Um, I mean, you know, yeah, it makes sense. It's like a solid pretty safe song i guess very accessible so yeah. there you go shout yeah. out swedes shout mm-hmm. out all oh, right but- moving on to ukraine we have aliona aliona and jerry heel <laughs> i'm so sorry i probably didn't say that wrong but their song was Teresa and maria oh yes okay yes. this one mm-hmm. you know this was a very this song <laughs> Okay, give me a second. I'm like trying to get my words together because I'm like, 
a part of it feels very like anthemic and powerful and then you got the rap so it was giving me like a little bit of Macklemore a little bit with the rapping yeah and i think it's kind of cool having a woman delivering the bars and then the the anthemic nature of the song was giving like typical eurovision ballad you know yes. it's not ballad but like you know battle cry so it had like the best of both worlds but uh, hmm for me it was just a little bit like okay like, I, I wasn't fully connected into uh-huh. i wasn't fully into it all the way and i think maybe it's just because of um just melodically speaking i didn't latch on to mm. anything i can't really repeat it back to you and i think that's kind of what kind of took me out of it um, but the performances were like they're solid. The rapper is good. The young lady who was rapping was good. The woman who was singing, good as well. You know, she opens her face and great sounds come out. I think the staging was my favorite in terms of like having the elements kind of be at her like beck and call mm-hmm. and such. That was really cool. It was, it was. I love when a good LED screen is used and they hit their mark. And it's so satisfying. You know, y'all listen. I love me some Beyonce, but she did not hit her mark at the Super Bowl, so she was her body was outside like the <laughs> at the. You know what I'm saying? You know that part? Yeah, yeah. So, I know she will never live that down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was like, dang, because I know that feeling. It's like, damn, I missed my mark because it's so it's a body. So if you're not, you know, yeah. But for this one, my girl was in the center of the swirl mm. of the whirlpool, and I was like, get it, girl. And then she climbed up the mountain. I was like, get it, girl. I think it was a solid performance. I wish I knew what she was singing about, truthfully. But I get yeah. the feeling of the song. I understand. I understand the feeling, and she sold it. It was a solid performance, and that combines the vocals and the concept. So mm-hmm. much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the Teresa and Maria that they're referring to is Mother Teresa and Virgin Mary. Right. right? Okay. So, so okay. that knowing that that was kind of the reference, and this kind of being this very epic, like kind of like warrior esque kind of situation yes. like war cry battle cry kind of thing i thought that was cool very For epic sure. i agree the staging was so cool i love yeah. the cliff thing the wind the end <laughs> when they looks like they're lying on that pile of people and it looks like like an Ooh. old religious painting also but also Ooh. kind of like kylie's slow kylie's you know? yes <laughs> <laughs> love that um, yeah, I think the two artists together was definitely an interesting choice because, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I think the song without the rap would not have had as much impact. And it kind of was awesome to kind of have those two things happen. And her flow was awesome. Like, I, I was yeah. like, oh, my God, she's doing this live. Well, you have to remember, yeah. this was like fully, fully live. I will say mm-hmm. the backing track was kind of loud for some artists. But mm. overall, though, I was very impressed by the vocals, mostly yes. across the whole competition. But yes. this one in particular, I thought live, they did a really great job. Um, so yeah, this one has grown on me, I think, since kind of the first few times I'd heard the song during like the national or yeah, like the before the semis and all that. Um, yeah. so yeah, I'll give this one an 8.5. Oh, nice. This was an eight for me. Okay. Well, they did really well, actually, in yeah. the competition. Yeah. They ended at third place. Yeah. No. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. But also controversial take. I'm going to say what I have to say a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there might be some other reasons people oh. are giving the votes yeah uh so uh the next one is germany's entry they have isaac with always on the run oh yeah mm-hmm. what do you think about this one because i uh-huh. yeah I, okay well i think isaac has a nice voice i think yeah. um the song itself though it's fine. Like, the kind of chant of a chorus is pretty catchy. I think the layering of yeah. the harmonies is good. His voice sounds good and super strong, especially in the chorus. Uh, I will say he kind of started at 100, like, with that first oh. verse. And so then he didn't really give himself any room to really grow and build the yeah. intensity of his vocals. Yeah. Which I think is what maybe the song needed. Mm. Um, the staging was fine with the fire and, like, the room or whatever that he was in it just nothing super innovative or memorable yeah. here no uh, yeah. you know I, I legit i my notes are not complaining but i mentioned that maybe because i'm just a little bit like i'm just not as impressed with the whole raspy i got pain in my life voices anymore like the, ah, lose control and the whole like, thing that, like I just, i'm kind of over it now so mm. i think his 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 performance felt good enough to it's obvious that he's a good vocalist. He can mm-hmm. sing circles around a lot of people, including myself, whatever. But my point is, it was just a little too strong, like you said. You, you know, you can too much like force, too much like he's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, yes. oh, it's starting off real strong already. Like, there's just too much oomph all at once. And <laughs> the performance with the fire, I'm sorry. 
whoever decided that staging, shame yeah. on you. That man looked like he was just <laughs> what? Sorry. But first of all, he, he, I think he needed better staging because the fire, it the fire in a barrel, all I think is people who, you know, like um homeless people. Like a vagabonds. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that too. I was like, why is there you a know? barrel? Yeah. Thank you. Look, I mean, that's always on the run. You're a vagabond, you don't have a home. I get it. But then he tried to touch the fire. He looked at it. Like he was singing by the fire. And I was like, well, you know that stuff is hot. Back up for it melts you. And then he starts to kind of like his hand hovers over it. It was just awkward. And then he's singing and he's coming to the front and the fire is going. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. I feel like the staging could have been a little bit better. There could have been him like a, not a rotating stage, but something to indicate him constantly going yeah. around a circle, something, you know, eh. honestly, nothing really stood out to me. And it just felt to me like a the voice performance. Like it was good, but like, oh. it was like. You know, that's a good comparison. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. Sorry, baby. <laughs> that's fair. So, what do you rate yeah. it? It's at a seven. Yeah. I so I may actually go slightly lower. I may go six point five. I had it at a seven, but I was rating this live as as the show went, and in the grand oh. scheme of the show, I barely remember him. So I'm gonna oh. go down to a six point five. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, Germany. I, yeah, Germany, you are great country listen but the song you can do better in the end though isaac did get 12th place so still in the top half so okay go up isaac go ahead sir all right up next is luxembourg i don't know where that is honey but it sounds luxurious it is yeah (laughs) okay let me saying yeah sorry y'all i just eurovision what can i say and they presented tally with fighter and this one okay Mm. Man, the song goes off live. I will say that. Yes. I remember when we were listening to it, I was not moved by this one when we first talked about um, your vision, like at all. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like, though, altogether, Tali is definitely a better vocalist than she is a dancer. She was a little stiff for me. Um, and don't get me wrong, singing and dancing is not easy whatsoever. So I'm not even going to try to like come at her like, oh, she can't dance. It's not a matter of not being able to, but something about it just felt like, I need to breathe more and get these notes out as opposed to like really performing. And I think that kind of held her back a little bit. I don't know. Um, I cannot say that I was in love with those AR leopards. Yeah. What the heck? I cannot stand the augmented reality thing because no one can see it, you know, there at the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I guess I guess it works if you want to get some votes. It's like, wow, you know, whoever thought that was a good idea needs to try again, though, because that was not fighter for me. Um, but go off. The song is dynamic enough to kind of be entertaining, but the performance itself was just a little bit, not flat, but it was just like, you know, baby waves. It wasn't like, whoa, leaps and bounds for me. It was okay. Sorry. Yeah, it started off so strong because it had like this, like almost sauna-esque kind of picture that she made with the background dancers. And I was like, ooh, this is going to be a sexy performance. Um, (laughs) And then that was kind of the peak of it, like performance-wise. Because I think that I agree with you. The background dancers were killing it the whole time. And so I kind of wish she she was able to join them a uh, mm. bit more. I think her voice is good, but yeah. I don't think she is like she doesn't have a, an extremely strong uh, stage presence. So yeah. I think she looks really great and she sounded good, but like mm. nothing that memorable about her. Unfortunately, yeah. sorry. Uh, I will say though, the song I think I think the song was a it's a good pop song. It has a nice kind of groove to it. Yeah. I think the French language is beautiful. I'm like a little biased yeah. towards it, I think. So yes, there's that. that and I that do love nice. the way the chorus, the end of the chorus is. Like it's very dramatic. Yes. Um, so yeah, I do think the song has grown on me for sure. Um, so I think the song itself actually yeah. gives it a slightly higher score for me. So oh, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. 7.5 from over here. Okay. Well, she ended up right after Germany at number 13. Interesting. Mm, yeah. Go ahead, Luxembourg. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. up next we have Israel with Eden Golan with Hurricane. Yes, uh, Hurricane. That yeah. wasn't the original title. Um, mm. This girl was brave. Okay, I think, okay, honestly, I think Israel should have sat this one out because of what's happening. I don't, not bringing up anything specifically, but like last year with like, yeah, not last year, but like with the last competition. Yeah, it was. No, two competitions ago. Yeah. It was Ukraine and Russia. And it was a little bit of a stickiness there. And then mm-hmm. one country was like, you know, y- y'all can't You're come. Done. But 
Yeah, yeah. So they couldn't come. So it's one of those things where I think the tone, the room was not red. It's not even about like how you feel right now. It's kind of just like what's going on right now. It's okay to sit this one out right now. Um, but again, I think I think I think very brave to go up there and sing. But unfortunately, the timing isn't right, and something especially didn't feel right because of the title change. It went from it went to hurricane from October rain, mm. which was directly referencing yes. the incident. You know what I'm saying? So then it, it just becomes like this whole like statement where it's like victim, and I'm just like, oh no, wait, stop, <laughs> different song. I, I think overall the packaging was just not great, that, but that's not going to be like a determining factor as to whether or not the performance was good. I think uh, it sucks um, that all this is happening and it's affecting something that should be artistic. But when you put the art and with the real world, or it's you can't separate it. Not for people's minds. You can't wipe people's brains. Yeah. Not Josie and the Pussycat Dolls. Uh, Josie and the Pussycat, excuse me. Oh my God. <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> me too with the little headphones. Um, but yeah, I think She's a beautiful singer. I think I said that when we first talked about it in the Pop 101. She's a beautiful singer, super talented. The performance was based on her vocals, which she definitely has pipes. Never going to take yeah. that from her. She has pipes. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was dynamic to a certain extent, but not like like really working the stage. It was very like, it was a portal. We're dancing in front of it. It was very yeah. dramatic. Like the song is not like my style per se, but it's, it's powerful. You know, she performed it well. And, and throughout the booze, kudos to her um but yeah again it's one of those just like yeah you just, i mean yeah. i actually didn't hear were the boos extremely loud in the venue because i know they were trying to get them not to boo um and i and i saw i don't know how real this is so someone correct us if i'm wrong here but i saw some people huh. saying that they put cheering in the backing track to try and kind of just balance it out just in case i'm gonna um, tell you right now i saw it german feed oh i got a little link them boo. She had to hide up. She goes, ah, they said, Ooh. Oh. Okay. It was so loud. I thought they were like, kind of like, yeah. I thought it was like one of those like, ooh, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But I didn't realize it was an actual no. So, yeah. Um, I see. I see. Um, Yeah. So, I agree with you. I don't think they should have participated. Um, They put the other contestants in a really uncomfortable spot as well because every press, press conference, every single... Like they all kept getting asked about it. Look, they're yeah. under contract. Like, well, yeah. well, like oh, what can they do? Yeah. Like I felt really bad for them. Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, but you know, here we are. She got to perform. Um, yeah. So we'll talk about it. Uh, I think the song is, it, yeah, it's a pretty power ballad. It has a nice melody. Mm-hmm. Again, not the most memorable as a song. There's no. much. There's a lot of songs that were kind of like this this year. Yes. Um, yeah. And this one's not the best one to me. Uh, I think she has a nice voice. It's strong. Yeah. has a lot of body to it. And yeah, I liked the contemporary dance routine. I thought it was beautiful uh, mm-hmm. the way that they did it. Um, but yeah, I think just because there's just a lot of these kind of power ballads this time. Oh my God, yeah. Um, so this one's just like okay for me. I blame yeah. Laureen. Tattoo went off too hard. <laughs> I was like, we have the belt. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that being said, my score, great singer, yeah. not even like thinking about anything else involved. I want to give it a seven because like, yeah, she sang really well, but overall the song is kind of just like, okay. And then, yeah, you know, yeah. It's yeah, okay. I'll go for a 7.5. I at least remember it well, like the, the staging and everything of it. So mm. yeah, yeah. Um, it huh. did get fifth place in the final yeah. ranking. Um, yeah. Again, definitely some... Uh, other factors going into that yeah yeah that's rough oh man yeah. oh gosh Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll talk about <laughs> it later though um well, once we again this is that <laughs> we are not even referring to anything crazy we're just you know just making yeah. note of the awkward situation okay <laughs> um all the uh you know it's crazy though after every performance i noticed a lot of the performers like peace and love love and peace peace and love. i was like dang now i feel like one of the performers on stage um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, moving on. We have Lithuania with yes. Sylvester Belt with Luktuk. Luk I'm not gonna look mm-hmm. uh, Thank you. Because I was just saying how you were saying it, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say this song did stand out to me mm-hmm. when I just listened to the contestants like the months ago. Um, um yeah, because I think it's very catchy, like that like repeat of that word. Uh 
And the beat is also just like really strong as well. So it's like just kind of hard not to pay attention to it when you're listening to it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think that song does stand out. Uh, mm-hmm. Sylvester is okay, I guess, as a performer. His voice, it fits the drama of the song. It's able to hold its own against kind of the intensity of that beat well. Oh, um, yeah. Because, you know, I feel like some people can get drowned out by that. And so like mm-hmm. I think he he is able to do that. Um but yeah, I don't know. Like the staging was just fine for me. Like I think the choreo was fun. There were some interesting projections, like with yeah. the hands and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, but you know, they use a lot of flashing lights just to hide the unimpressive dancing going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make you laugh. I started hiding behind the microphone for those who are listening. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, because I was thinking about that choreography. I was like, it was a little another... hip hop one hundred and one. I think. Huh? Don't you think? I I concur. Yeah. Concur. <laughs> okay, so as I concur with you, <laughs> I just thought about the choreography because I just remember. So his dancers were wearing, were wearing masks, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is one of those, I don't know the meaning of the song. I should have looked it up possibly, but it, I think maybe it all tied into that. Um, I think the lighting and the colors of the performance were the stars for sure. You know, he's like another top alley where the vocals are on point but was otherwise stiff um you know and i like the song and i think the vocals are good but after a while i found myself disengaging from his whole you know his whole thing mm-hmm. i didn't feel like he was commanding the stage str- uh, for a long enough time for me to be like oh yeah I'm, I'm locked in yeah i did not stay locked in my seat unfortunately for this one um doesn't mean he's not talented it's just i think there's still some room for for growth for sure so yeah um, so yeah, I'll give it a seven. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Look Telk got Good. to number 14. So just oh. after Luxembourg. Wow, we haven't even hit any of the ones that kind of were at the bottom yet, which is interesting. Uh, that is crazy because I'm yeah. literally just thinking to myself, I'm like... We're kind of sticking in the middle right now with, with most yeah. of these, which is interesting. Um, or yeah, near I'm... the top with some of those. Mm. Okay, yeah. All right, moving on to Spain. We have just... Nebulosa with Zora. <laughs> Is what her name was. I just realized what her name was. Yes. What a name. What you know a what? name. Shout out to our golden diva. Shout out to our golden diva. She was there for the drama of the performance. I, oh, I just okay. want to note though, Nebulosa is also that man as well. So it's her and that keyboardist guy. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So yes, she is in it, but I just want to give him some credit. <laughs> No, that's so valid because it's kind of hard for me to tell who's in the band and who's not, you know? Um, so I appreciate that. But I thought she called herself like, I thought she called herself that. <laughs> you sitting there giving yourself a cosmic, like, like Sailor Moon baddie <laughs> name. No, no, no. Nebulosa. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, can you imagine just <laughs> Nebulosa? <laughs> um, but yeah, so our golden diva with her partner um they were there for the drama for sure the drama yeah. of the performance mm. um when we were watching videos of the the contestants like before the whole competition started i remember not really liking the song that much back then yeah. and it's not because of her age or anything salient like i look at her and go oh yeah no i'm gonna hate this song i don't and that's not the reason but because of the song the song is just okay um like I like the little chant. So I got the thought it was cute. Yeah. I think it was potential for like a, a moment, but I feel like the melody of the song wasn't that good. She's not a terrible singer. I think it's just, it was just a weak melody. It didn't really have any earwormy parts for me, really, except for the chanting. Um, and the gay dancers were everything. So I gave them <laughs> an extra 0. 0.5. Okay. Uh, All so right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I actually think the song, I mean, I agree with you. The song is like, okay, but I kind of love how camp the whole thing is. Like, <laughs> This is kind of the only, like, really, really 80s song, right? In this oh, kind of whole yeah. competition. So I think it does stand yeah. out in that way. Um, and it, there's a lot of drama there uh, yeah. in the way it grows. Um, I think she was a fun performer as well. Like, she just has an ease to her presence. And, you know, that kind of comes with age and experience. <laughs> um, yeah. And she was, yeah, just living her best life up there with those two flamboyant men. In their sexy <laughs> like, leather was, diapers. Like, it was just <laughs> fun. I don't know. Like, this is the type of stuff I, like, want to see in Eurovision. Yeah. You know? So I enjoyed yes. it for what it was. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was very entertained. So yeah, I I gave it an eight. I gave it a seven point five. Okay. So the gay dancers have it. I'm not sure they're gay, but <laughs> but that extra point five for it. I was here for it. Um, she gonna put you a somersault. The, like, the judges. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was here for it, but the judges and public were not because it only got ranked number 22. God dang yeah. it. Oh, sorry. 22 um, for Spain. Yeah. Nebulosa. Oh, dang. That's the... Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-huh. Oh, next up. Oh, this... Jesus. <laughs> and I scrolled down and saw it. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> oh, okay. I just want to say sorry to the country... Um, uh-huh. origin yeah Estonia um I do want to try to pronounce this though okay. it's out of respect um yeah. so yeah this is this is Estonia with five minus t and pull up and their song is the song is narku tikumistes el temi kul midagi I did it that's hey, it I think like, that I... was it sounded a little Japanese, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how how good that was. You did a good job. I didn't fully understand like whether you're supposed to say the parentheses or not, and like all that. So you did a great job. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's called in that school. I'm sort of struggling to say all of it. Yeah, you but know, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, in Estonia. Yeah. Okay, I will say. I mean, this is also just kind of what I picture when I think of your vision. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's like all kind of weird and 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 catchy but then also yeah. like really annoying and the whole time you're like entertained at, and it's keeping your attention but you don't really yeah. know what's going on <laughs> you know um the song is like not really a song like there's just like no structure to it it's just like new things just keep happening and new people start yelling <laughs> oh. um then like interesting instruments like there was that like violin looking thing i was like oh, i've never seen yes. that before the hacksaw um, yeah um the underlying beat you know keeps it going so <laughs> you know like i look i would never ever listen to this song i would likely never watch this performance again <laughs> but was i entertained during this <laughs> i was yeah. You know what? Go off. Yeah. <laughs> Go off. You, you, this song was giving me Boney M Rescue in where it was just like Daddy was big and strong and he died. It was giving Boney M. Um yeah. did you know that Boney M was like the, the precursor to Millie Vanilli because they had the same producer? Oh. And that's the, random. the producer of Millie Vanilli was actually the one that sang the oh, there's a bad name, Raw Raw Rescue Thin. Okay. Like some complete sidebar. But you know, a little pop history. And that's yeah. what my point is. The song reminds me of a Boney M song. Um, I will say that I didn't mind all the random tones. It was a little jarring. Yeah. Like you mentioned. Um, and not to be disrespectful, but their, the bows for their um, violins look like hacksaws. I was in tears because I was like, what is that? <laughs> what body are they dismembering? Um, the whole thing was really a spectacle and it felt fun and natural. And I think that's what kind of made me like really stick to it. Cause I was like, what was, what's going to happen next? Yes. And that's good. Um, especially if you don't understand or know how to pronounce the title of the song. Um, and this reminds me of Gangnam style in terms of the ridiculousness, but I yeah. think it is a song that probably has a lot of cultural context. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like if you understood the language, you'd get the whole, the reasoning behind it. I think overall though, the song just felt like a reception performance like at a wedding or it was wedding reception oh vibe. i it see was that. giving like the uncles and the dad and the cousins and they're like oh my god i love this song like yes. it was giving mm-hmm. yeah so yeah all that being said though i'm gonna give it a seven i'm gonna give it a seven i'm gonna give it a seven i didn't hate it i didn't go back to watch it yeah but it's but never I, but I finished but i finished yeah. i didn't fast forward like i did some other performance oh damn <laughs> okay um, I will go 6.5. The song is just a little too weird for me. Yeah. I'm in tears. You know what? I'm going to meet you where you are because I feel like I'm giving out seven so easily now. I'm going to meet you where you at. I'm, I'm going to go with you. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. Okay, you well, at. this one got to number 20. So it did beat Spain. But yeah, it is not, Spain, not amazing. Not amazing. Okay, next up we had Ireland with Bambi yeah. Thug, Doomsday, Blue, 
So this one is one I had actually pointed out as one that like really stood out to me. Uh, yes, yeah. In the beginning. Um, so what did you think of the final performance? Oh my goodness, honey. First of all, her name. At first I was like, I'm like, I don't, I don't but I've been watching or like <laughs> preparing for this. I've been watching and I'm like, no, she definitely fits the whole Bambi Thug thing. Um, it makes sense. And I love that name. Like, I don't think anyone else is going to have that name. Um, she needs to figure out how to bring that whole dark pixie witchy stuff here to America. I mean, she might have some pushback because of the whole, I mean, I'm the devil. But the point is, she has such an identifiable artistry. Yes. A distinguishable vision, and the song is solid. Like, there's no other song in this competition that sounds exactly like this, like it at all, actually. Like, it's very distinct. Yes. Um, her artistic vision is above and beyond, too. I feel like I was watching a movie. The My thing with performance is, if you're going to sit there and have all these extra frou-frous and blah, blah, blah happening... Tell the story. Like the second performer, the Teresa and Maria song, there was yeah. a story there where at the end we see this whole painting. This is one of those performances you have, like this really chilling performance where she's a witch and she meets someone and then that someone is like a little blue nightcrawler demon thing. And then she's getting <laughs> controlled by the nightcrawler thing, but it's like really kind of intimate at times too. And she gave yes. us ballet. Like I, I, that attitude she gave, I was like, yes, give me ballet. And yes. the prayer circle. And then it started flying and she got stripped. And I couldn't tell if people were booing her. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't heard, think so. Ooh, sounds okay. Good because I was yeah. like, it, I was like, this is divisive. This is very divisive because I know you know, it's a little like you know, <laughs> um, mm. for, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. that means. But it's very much like, <laughs> so people don't like that. But I'm into the witchy vibe. I don't see anything but just performance art. I love the prayer circle flying up, and then at the end, she's like crowned the witch, and I'm like. Yeah. Hello. Love that. She was a clear, if you don't win, you'll definitely see me again kind of performer. Yes. So kudos to her. Kudos to her. Yeah. You know, I stand by my saying that this was a huge standout for me. Like for, for the first time I listened to that playlist, like before I even saw a performance, I was like, yo, this song is really interesting. Like, yeah. The melody, yeah. like the non screamo parts, is actually so beautiful. It's so good. I'm jealous. It's so, so beautiful. <laughs> Um, and I, and I think the screamo bits are, obviously they're jarring and they do what they need to do, but it's still mm-hmm. like listenable, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's not like that, the, the, the little, that, yeah, like it, it's, still, it's called, but yeah, there's still yeah. like a, I don't know, there's an artistry there that I, you can, that you I enjoy. Understand the words. Yeah. Like it was, it's not, they're not just doing that just to make it, you know, controversial or dramatic or whatever. Exactly. Like there was yeah. definitely, it's an artistic there's like meaning behind it, I guess. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, yeah. I will say she sounds so much better singing live here as well compared to the very first like nationals uh, or whatever they do in Ireland. That that when yes. she did it, she did it like in a tiny little venue. Uh, yeah. This one, she sounded really great. Yeah, but yeah. The staging was everything I wanted it to be. It was creepy. Yeah. I loved the monster man dancer. <laughs> the cultish stuff was like just weird enough without it yeah. crossing a line. You know, yeah, like it never no crossed the line. Shed. It was never <laughs> Lady Gaga like throwing up or whatever, like live on stage. You know, like that's right, right, right. like this was like very tasteful. I think yeah. my favorite part about it was actually like the partnering. There were some partnering moments that yes. were so beautiful. Yeah, like she would stop with her leg like in the air, like being the supported. Attitude, by yes. Oh my gosh, like Gorgeous. that was so beautiful, and she's still singing live like throughout the whole thing. Um, and we even get a costume reveal. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, I'm so here it. for this. Like, we're about to go to Ireland in a few weeks. Like, is she performing anywhere? Like, can we go see her? <laughs> no, what? Don't play with me. Don't put that in my head because you know me because I said I want to see girls aloud. And you're like, oh, no, this is what happened. I want to see there too. Maybe it's going to happen for us. Hang on. Let's just put our little. <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up after this. <laughs> our magics together. <laughs> All right. So, what do you mean? Yes, I gave it a 10. Like, I was like, hey. is it, is, yeah, because she's a great artist. And you I know think what? no one else could sing the song. You know what? I think I'm going to match you. It was a ten. I, this is one that I could watch over and over again. Oh, I my think God. I think they did an awesome job. Yeah. Listen, when I come to your house, we're definitely going to watch it because your TV is amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> With the lights. So the world, or oh, not the world? Well, uh-huh. maybe the world because the rest of the world got to vote too. But uh-huh. it did very well. Uh-huh. Ireland did very well. They got number six. Oh, yes. So satisfying. Yeah. Should have been the top three, but fine. <laughs> that's what I said. I was like, my bottom of my note, too. We'll get there, but that's what I was saying. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, up next is Tapia with Dons, and his song is Hollow. Mm. Hollow. Man, okay, listen. His voice is so good. I will also say, that as good as it is, the song reminds me of like a Phil, Phil Collins meets Imagine Dragons slash X Ambassador kind of, you know? Well, that's an interesting. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, because the, the whole like ah, you make me ah, you make me it kind of gives that whole like hollow but then he has like the thin kind of like you know otherworldliness of Phil so it's kind of like okay that and he's bald I couldn't help myself <laughs> but I was just like <laughs> he's a bald white man yes listen the bald white man go ahead Mister Clean we love a good bald head I said it was and it wasn't shiny <laughs> either whoever whoever did his makeup thank you for for powdering the head because I hate people go on stage and got these people looking crazy. Like, oh, my God. We haven't talked about the clothing really much, but I like the little blue situation. He looked very beautiful. In oh, yeah, outfit. the armor kind of yeah. heck and oh. abs cut out. Yeah, yeah, and it matched his eyes and his skin looked pretty. Like, everything was just nice. Now, I understand that the whole thing was to be minimal. Uh -huh. I get it. I totally get it. But something about him isn't very, like, you know, you know, you can watch Celine Dion, like, sing her face off and she doesn't have to move like ever mm -hmm. Kelly you can watch her sing her mm -hmm. face off and she doesn't really have to move he doesn't give that for me he's very much like I will sing and I will stand here because I'm not much of a mover but I feel like the 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 lighting was very much kind of like a trying to supplement what he was doing I appreciate him being the root of the tree of life I thought that was really cute um, I don't mind songs like this having minimal staging with no dancers. I'm not saying he needed dancers, but I kind of wish they would have utilized more people like they did in the, the music video with all the bald men, because that was a very standout kind of thing. You really did want so all the bald men. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. In the video, it was like, wow, he feels hollow. He doesn't want to be yeah, hollow. Yeah. And he's surrounded by a bunch of like people. I think it would have been amazing if he had just a bunch of bald men coming you know, out on stage and then him, <laughs> listen, and then him emerging through the center, like something to add to the theatrical drama. Yeah. Even if it's, just, if it's just the back of their heads, him just being like, I don't want to be, get the fuck out of the way. I don't want to be, I don't, you know say Like, I would have been like, wow. Just something more theatrical than him just standing there and being like. Yeah, that's valid. You know, but yeah. not a bad, not a bad performance. It's just overall, the packaging was a little just, that's it for me. Yeah, I will say, though, it was memorable because of how bare it was, in a way, because <laughs> because there are so many of these kind of ballads this time, and a, mo a lot yeah. of them did utilize this, like, contemporary dancer kind of thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. And so him yeah. just kind of singing yeah. did make it memorable. And he, as the kind of white, bald man, he was memorable, I guess, among the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, his adjective. voice is awesome. His voice is Gorgeous. awesome. I think the chorus is so perfect for his voice. Like yeah. it sits in such a nice place there. It's so strong. It, he sounds so effortless singing it. He has the slight rasp that is just so perfect. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think there's. it's a good power ballad. It has like a nice eeriness to it mm -hmm. uh, that I enjoy. And, I, and this is one that I would listen to, you know, again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess it, it was an interesting choice, I guess, to rely kind of just on him. Um, I, I kind of doubt they were expecting a really high charting position ooh, or, ooh. or ranking position here. Right. Um, Maybe they didn't though, want it. Right. <laughs> Maybe they didn't want it. But <laughs> so he expensive. did a good job with, with what he could. Oh, no, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, all that being said, though, you know. Yeah. I don't think it's a good song. I think I actually kind of like I didn't mention it, or maybe I did. I mentioned it as like a fave of mine. Oh yeah, you I did. Was like, I, think. I really like this. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. I don't like him any less. So he's kind of sitting where he's at. Um, I gave this one a seven point five. Yeah, I'll I'll match you. I had it slightly higher, but after the last after more performances like happened, I had to move him down a little bit. So I'll Ooh. match you to a seven point five. Yeah. Ooh. Um. And yeah, in the vote, he was kind of middle of the pack. He was sixteen. Mm, look at us. We, we're kind of, we got this. We're doing a good job. Kind of, yeah, kind of. <laughs> we're not giving out terrible scores like we should. <laughs> All right, next up we have Greece. We have Marina Sati with Zari. Uh -huh. Okay, so I do, I think we did mention this one in our episode as well as the standout yeah. because of how 
kind of just cultural and traditional, it feels. Ooh, yeah. Um, totally. that, that's another thing, right, that I love about Eurovision is that it's, it is, it's the country like representing themselves. And this just feels Greek. I've never been to Greece, but like this feels Greek <laughs> to me, which is awesome. <laughs> um, and the song itself just has a lot going for it. Like there are a lot of yeah. little moments in it and it's super, super catchy. And the performance is just fun. Like I love yeah. the way they combined what seemed to be more kind of traditional Greek dancing, but then there was also like a more like hard hitting, like pop street jazz choreo. Oh, uh, so I just thought that was all super entertaining. Um, I thought she was a, a decent performer. She seemed to be kind of just living her best life up there. And the song <laughs> yeah. is definitely not easy to sing. And there was a lot of um, blocking that had to happen. Yeah. They were kind of moving around the whole stage and she did a really good job with all of that i think mm -hmm. um i will say they use like an instagram live type filter oh my God. Yeah. on our tiktok filter on it yeah with the hearts and stuff like i thought that was unnecessary like that was just Same. a waste of budget <laughs> yeah but i enjoyed it no, I, I, I this was a standout when in the beginning and it still was like i think this was a great performance yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I feel like she is a definitely a little pop girl. She reminds me of Rosalia a little bit in terms of like, because Rosalia is very much like um, when she's not being all like, no, but da -da, da -da -da. she's very in the camera, very much in your face, has a little bit of a cheekiness to her. Um, Marina has that cheekiness. And also the song kind of is giving reggaeton as well. Um, so I feel like I agree with you on the IG filter thing. I feel like it has nothing to do with the song. The song is called Dice. Zari means dice, apparently. Oh. And they ain't got nothing to do with the digital age, sis. I just feel like it just felt like whoever thought of it was a millennial trying to, like, appeal to Gen, Gen Z. You know, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, in the movies. Like, you're like, why is this filtered now? Like, why is there hearts everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're That's right. right. Yes. So, so uh, But aside from that, like you said, the blocking was really interesting. She's pushing the camera. She's on the floor. I'm like, girl sit down stop moving <laughs> my biggest gripe was some of the choreography though like aside from the traditional stuff i feel like whoever choreographed it did not understand like with reggaeton you don't have to be sitting there fist in a fist in a clunk, you know? and it was just too much at points like it was a little mm. too much street jazz and not so much in the pocket yeah not like yeah, yeah i got you yeah, yeah and i feel like it could have been more in the pocket that and it would have benefited her singing because me if i'm just if i'm jerking my diaphragm too much my notes will be coming out like how hers would Oh, and oh, she's pushing out more. And you're sitting there jerking her body. She's on the floor. It's just a little bit too much, but she ate it up. Um, not my favorite choreography. I think throughout yeah. the whole performance, I don't, throughout the whole show, I don't wouldn't say that, but it's not my favorite. Um, and again, uh, she's a good performer. Remind me of Rosalia. Um, and yeah, cute, real cute. Just like little things here or there. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but yeah, this was a highlight for me across the whole show. Like super memorable, yeah. and I really enjoyed yeah. it. So I will give it a 9.5. Hmm? I gave it a nine. Okay. And uh, the vote agreed with us for the most part. Yeah. It got to number 11. So it did really well. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Up next, we have the United Kingdom with Ali Alexander performing Dizzy. Mm. All right. We're familiar with Ali. We are. Yeah. Of years and years. Yes. yes. This is his first, I guess, non years and years song. Even though he's now the only person in years and years, but sure. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to be honest, like when the song first came out, I was just kind of like, okay with it. Like, it's very much Ollie's sound, this kind of like yeah. moody dance pop song. It fits his like very kind of thin nasally voice well, cool. um, but I just don't think it necessarily stands out amongst the years and years discography. Mm, so I'm just kind valid. of like meh on the song. Uh, I will Ballad. also say there was a bit of worry about his live vocals because he's not been known Ooh. to be a great live singer. Um, I thought he did all right here. He did better here than he did at the semifinal. Uh, mm. You know, a little unstable, a little pitchy, but, you know, he was performing his best and um, yeah. staging, I thought, was well done. It's definitely giving, like, Kylie, red-blooded woman, showgirl a little bit with that whole men's yeah. locker room Love situation. That. But the rotating box was awesome. Yes. That was so cool. Like, the that way was... that they did that, where you couldn't really tell, actually, like, where yeah. he was in it. Um, yeah. And um, the sliding and the pulling and, and, and all the interaction, oh God, yeah. I thought, was really well done in the box. Yes. Um, I will say there were other moments, like, after they left the box, um, <laughs> some of that choreo, and actually some of the choreo in the box as well, it was kind of just, like, 
I don't know how to say this. You know, because like them okay. like, like yes. I don't know, like okay. gyrating and on top of each other, and then it looked like they were like riding each other, and then you know what I mean. Like it just felt a little it was like unnecessary for me. But it felt like, oh, I want to make this as gay as possible, and I'm going to make I'm these saying. dancers yeah. like do all this stuff. But it didn't feel authentic to the song the whole or the thing. vibe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I feel the same way because during the dance break, he's doing a bridge, which I thought was ridiculous. I'm like, Ollie is not. He okay? He is. He's not Gabby Douglas, honey. Why is he doing a bridge and then yeah. having to sing after? And they they were on top of each other, and it was just like, yeah, yeah. I'm like dizziness. Y'all could have. Y'all could have did some hair whips into a dip. Y'all could have did some, like, you could have a circle. But, you know, I feel like it was just a little bit too much, like, let's gyrate on each other. And I was like, okay, we, you know, it's welcome, but you don't have to do it. It doesn't represent the song. And yeah. it doesn't, his, his artistry isn't, like, s- selling sags. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's the thing. There's a disconnect. I saw a performer this weekend and like he's goofy, but then his songs are really miserable. And there was a disconnect every time we stopped singing. Same thing with Ollie. Mm-hmm. He wasn't, I don't think he was trying to sell smegs. You know what I'm saying? But it was just giving like, we have to be sexy right now. We have to just grind on each other right now. And the, yeah. the performance already kind of led up into that where the people are singing. Uh, while he was singing, the dancers were kind of interacting with each other. So we get it. There's tension. So I think they kind of tried to make it so it was exploding. Mm. I guess y'all could have just lifted him up or something. I mean, there's many things you could have done, but I guess when you're working in such a small, like you said, the box, it's you know. Eh, uh-huh. uh, I want to give him. A, I want to give him kudos for being able to hit those high notes though. Mm. At, at the end of it, like he cut his note short, which I don't blame him for. After doing all that, oh yeah, we're trying to be sexy, like little Nas X kind of sexy. Um, but I do appreciate the attempt and finding the air to hit the big note. And I will say something about the chorus sounds like deeper shade of blue. A little bit. A wee bit. Sounds oh, like okay. so far away. Mm. Yeah, something about that little. I was like, what? Oh, oh, oh. So I kind of latched on to that. But the song, like you said, it was not like really strong. Yeah. Not his best work. He's done better. Yeah. 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 So strong. look, I loved like the first half of the performance. Um, yes. And yeah, I think I think the overall idea was good. I think the song is like good. So yeah, I'll give it a 7.5. Oh, okay, yeah. I gave it a seven. I gave it a seven. He wasn't bad. Yeah. All right, well, he got number 18 in the ranking, oh. and there was a lot of controversy because he did not get any public votes, which people were really surprised about because he's probably the biggest name of the contestants which here. Which is so weird. Why do you think um, that is? So, yeah, there was quite... Well, the UK, historically, it's always been a bit up and down from what I understand. Uh, uh politically as well yeah that was, that was valid uh but they did win was it yes. last year or the yes. year before that no, yeah it was last year right no Lori won last year oh, two they, years ago yeah so yeah the uk did win like two years ago though so two or three years ago yeah yeah two or three years ago so yeah i don't know um i guess just people uh, weren't into into it this year oh that's so tough to oh yeah that's a heartbreaking situation well yeah what thing you do yeah uh, well, moving on to Norway, we have Got Gate Gate Got. Okay, with it's like, Ulveham. The... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry Ooh. if that's incorrect. Oh my gosh! Yeah, um, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think the song is cool. Like it's haunting. The driving beat is very ominous. Her vocals oh. are. Ethereal. She sounds very strong. I was kind of <laughs> wanting just a more like a rocky song, um, oh. and this kind of fit that for me. Like this kind of yes. delivered that. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think this one was kind of like a bit more of a straightforward kind of situation. Um, mm. There was like a lot of like wailing and stuff uh, near the end, but I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I did enjoy this one overall. What do you think? It reminded me of like an emo rock version of the blue alien from Fifth Element. So I liked it. Oh. Um, you know the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it seems like the stones are inside of me. Like that's what I was getting from that. Um, this is one of my ones to watch that I mentioned, I remember. Uh we're doing the one oh one. Yeah. The song goes off. I liked it then, I like it now. The lead vocalist has such great control of her voice, and I think that's what's impressive about it. Like have you heard a song in a movie or a video game? If you're a nerd, you probably heard something like this already. So it's like, okay, wow, this is kind of catching my ear. 
but the control that she has when she's performing it live is like really scary because it's like she's doing all these weird little awkward motions i'm like how are you honestly the whole band went off somebody i think the bassist threw his freaking bass up in the sky yeah he caught it and i'm like y'all are so extra but the thing is the everything from the band is very intentional and passionate it sucks you in no matter how strange it is um and i think the lead vocalist as awkward as she is with her movements she commits to them very much like a lord where lord would kind of be really awkward so much so that you would get like an snl meme of her or like someone mocking you you would want that you want to be so distinguishable that someone sees you and they go what the heck was she doing and she did that um and honestly she commands the stage even without all the theatrics of like the the props and the the smoke and stuff she got pipes um yeah but yeah so this one i feel like was solid i feel like I think maybe because she was just stuck on that little rock box thing. I wanted her to at least, at least move around. I think that kind of like took me out a little bit. But aside from that, like she holds it down. She held it. The whole band holds it down. But yeah, mm-hmm. I want her to move. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I enjoy this one. Um, I yes. gave it an 8.5. I'm going to match you. I gave it an 8, but I bumped it up. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll the judges up. and public did not agree with us because Norway got last place. 25th. <laughs> you know what? Europe. Do better. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, thought they did a great why. job. I don't understand that. I'm actually really surprised by that. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder why. Sometimes it's just like... I guess they just didn't stand out. I don't know. Because mm, maybe in Europe, that is the norm. Maybe in Europe, they're like, girl, maybe. we already heard this. <laughs> this your this your fifth time sitting there wailing like a like this. You This your fifth time sounding like you maybe. got Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> shoot oh shoot all right so y'all up next we're going to italy i'm not mm. gonna i'm not gonna play myself we're going to italy uh with angelina mango with la doya i don't know why i'm still doing it <laughs> you literally <laughs> said you're not gonna play yourself <laughs> i play myself like a fiddle oh my god okay <laughs> so what do you think about this one <laughs> i'm a fan I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. What a beautiful language, first off. <laughs> um, and again, kind of like the Greek one, like this just feels uh-huh. Italian. Like in the best <laughs> way. And I mean that in the yes. best way. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Absolutely does. <laughs> yeah. I will say she's a <laughs> decent performer. This song also is very hard to sing and she handled oh it God. very well. I think her tone, her tone is not, is a little generic. Uh, uh... That little acapella moment though was nice. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad that they got to do that. Um, yeah, I just don't know if this performance was super, super memorable for me. Like, I do remember the dancers wearing that, like, pantsuit, but only one leg and butt cheek was showing. Yes, butt cheek. (laughs) Um, some of the choreography was pretty good. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've just seen so many performances kind of like this that it just didn't really do that much for me. You know what? Because I gotta be honest, like, thinking back, I don't remember that much about it. I remember the roses, like the rose outfit. Yeah. Like, I loved her outfit. It's such a random thing to say, but the outfit matters, okay? Like, the rose, the thorn, the thorn thing, throne thing. I was living oh, for yeah. it. Yeah, but that's what I remember. And that, I don't know, is really good. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Apparently, la noia means, like, bo- the, the boredom in Italian, like it's boredom, or mm. like something bores me. So I guess the song is a little bit deeper than the vibes that it gives off. Um, her voice is nice and it delivers for sure, but I'm not sure that she commands the stage. And I think this is going to be a common thing with me. Like, I was like, well, this person can sing their face off. They're singing to the gods, honey. They're getting it. But the presence matters. And I think, and I think for me, if you can't like really hold the attention of the audience, that might determine why your score is not not that good. But the song was, okay, I get it. But if the person singing the song is not giving you anything but generica, then what can you do, you know? Um, but, yeah, no, I think her tone, like you said, is very, like, um, generic. I don't think there was anything about it that made me go, oh, that's different. Like, she doesn't have any vocal licks that stood out. So I think the song is decent. Her performance yeah. was decent. I just love that outfit. <laughs> I love that outfit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So for this one, I gave it an eight. It's not bad. Yeah. I also gave it an eight. Like, I thought it was a yeah. solid performance and it was better than some of the other ones we've seen. Um, oh, girl. Um, yeah. But yeah, the 
the crowd loved it. It got seventh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I gotta figure that part out because I'm just like. <laughs> It's I no, will it's say, no slow -mo. the whole ranking process was fascinating to watch. First oh. off, I didn't realize that that was actually the majority of the show. Like, the performances only took up, like, an hour and a half. And then, literally, it was a three hour, well, two and a half hours, maybe, of just dude. rankings. We got Laureen oh performance, um, which yes! was great. Yes! Her claws. But yeah, dude, that rank, I had, I was like, okay, like, I'm kind of ready to, to know now. <laughs> you know <laughs> but it was there. kind of fascinating to watch because obviously each time the country revealed like you'd see all the things change and then the yes. reveals of the public votes was like very interesting so no yeah, valid i agree a process for sure <laughs> all right um moving on to serbia with Teja Dora and the song ramonda mm -hmm. yes yeah. what did you think this one was chilling in the first half the siren or like maroon damsel concept was really pretty um, I feel like this is another song that I've heard before in some kind of way. I guess throughout the competition, yes. But yeah, I just feel like in general, it just feels like a very like, I don't know her as an artist. Yeah. And I don't know if this like really stands out as like, this is Serbia's <laughs> uh, pop princess or like, you know, rock, whatever the heck she, whatever genre is, alternative queen, whatever. I didn't get that. I don't know what the Italian accent is. Stop it. Um, but yeah, so... My thing is, it's just like, I wasn't blown away by it. I feel like she was super committed to the concept and the meaning of the song, though. So I feel like she emoted really well because after she was done, she goes, thank you. And I was like, how cute is she? <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like the most exciting part is the ending. But that's it. Like the VFX with the flower was so pretty. Oh, and yeah. And like, yeah, she had like a belty moment here and there. But at this point, this is the umpteen time we heard a belt. There was no like, whistle note there was no like run there was nothing that really gave anything it's, it's, it's like a sheet a sea shanty or like a, a siren's call it just didn't feel like i knew her as an artist or like you know yeah sorry yeah. girly still talented it just wasn't like wow yeah i agree with you this was kind of just like meh for me um mm -hmm. i don't think her placement helps like in the show because even when the staging started and she was like on a rock it was like okay she's on another she's on a rock again you know like we've already seen a couple rocks this, and it's like okay like not rock <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so you know i don't think that Moon helps rock. with it because yeah. then you know i was already kind of like oh, okay um the no, song is, is fine it's it's cool like there's a darkness to it it has a nice build of intensity <laughs> it kind of has that breathy billy eilish type of thing going on <laughs> for it which is yeah. which is cool and, and makes it different from the other songs in the competition yes um but yeah, nothing about it really did that much for me. I agree with you when she, when she kind of broke character and was like, Thank you. at the end, I was like, oh, but <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> Super that cute, was kind of it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I kind of just gave it, I gave it a seven, just kind of, it was, it was me all right. Too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. agree. Um. Well, they did. All right. Yeah. They got number 17. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did better thing. than Ollie. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> right above Ollie. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave for baby. I know. All right. Oh, sucks. All right. Up next, you have Finland with Windows 95, man, with no rules. No rules. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, we want to talk about memorable. Yes. This was very memorable. Yeah. <laughs> was very memorable. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really funny. Like, I, oh my God. I thought it was just like good for them like not many people can go up on stage and, and do a performance like this and just go for it but crack out just, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know i thought <laughs> I, I just thought the whole thing was hilarious like it the was. creative i mean him just coming out of an egg in the beginning was already like the why is he coming out egg? of an egg and yeah. then it's just like yes. all the little creative ways for him to cover up his genitals it was all very funny. The drama of the short shorts coming down. Yes. And then, of course, the whole the whole thing with the other singer and, and him just being, like, so disconnected almost the entire time until the end yeah. when they're just kind of, like, dancing in a circle together. Yeah. Um, and, and they're just, like, like costume-wise, like, they're not on the same page. Like, it's just, <laughs> like, the whole thing was just wild to me. And yeah. then the dancers had, like, the 90s boy band, like... Oh, yeah. Bikes. 
hair yeah, in the, the hair and on. stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Look, this was bizarre, and I would never <laughs> listen to the song on its own. But yeah. I was very entertained. <laughs> you know, that, that, okay, like this is the it's type so of funny. weird crap that I want from Eurovision. Oh yeah, totally. I think yeah. <laughs> I I agree with you. Like, that denim egg went off. I was in absolute tears. <laughs> I was like, it's like. You know, the denim egg reminded me of Gaga, but it also reminded me of Britney and Justin when they came on their denim outfits for the VMAs. I was like, oh, you know what? <laughs> it's like a baby, uh, a little baby denim. Um, this wins most creative and kooky performance for sure. Yes. Um, and I think the whole concept of like this, I feel like the singer is meant to be like, I'm a pop star. And then his impulsive thought is the, is the guy. <laughs> Cause it's the, cause it's the whole That's like amazing. I'm singing on the stage, I'm dancing on the stage, and the guys like back there like, <laughs> like do something crazy, do something crazy. Like it's really, I think, I think there is a story behind it that we maybe not be privy to, but um, it's very cute. I think if they can somehow figure out how to make their way into America, into America, like around the time where Weird Al was popping, like this would have gone the hell off. Because of what oh. the fox says is the. I recently heard it for the first time, and I was like, oh, my God, this is what everyone was going crazy for? Wow. Mm. I would rather this song than Fox, with the Foxes. Yeah, um, totally. But, yeah, <laughs> at the crescendo, sorry, at the crescendo of this whole thing, kudos to the deep voice guy for not burning his eyebrows off, because the way my wigs work, that spark, oh, <laughs> no, it would have been it would have been blazing hip-hop and R&B on that stage. Okay, um, Hot 97, um, Flames. Uh, but, yeah, no, kudos to them. I think the song... For what they're trying to do, solid. The concept for what they're trying to do, solid. The vocals, for what they were, solid. Yeah. As you know, what I'm saying like everything was actually good. Yeah. Once you get past it. Totally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that being said, they're not all the way up there for me in terms of like, wow, this should have won something. <laughs> but yeah, I think they deserve a nine. Because they're, they're the fully realized, fully actualized, and it was spectacle. Hell yeah. Yeah, I would definitely put them in the top half at least. But yes, I agree yeah. with you. I, I I do a nine for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, though, they only hit number 19. Okay, let's try. Okay, hang on. Give me a second. We need to look into the mind of a European voter. Okay. Why would you not like it? Maybe because they feel like they're past this point of campy goofiness. Maybe because... The lyrics were vapid. I don't. I don't know. I'm they not, weren't really. I'm trying to figure it out. Anyway, but y'all you know tripping. what? They're one of the ones I will remember in your months. House? You know, in a few months, I'll still remember Windows 95, man. So right, I'll be at your house being no rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, <laughs> moving on to Portugal with Iolanda and the song Grito. Yeah. Oh man, you think? she's. She has such a thick voice. She's like, I love her tone because she's not like a high pitched belter. Um, I think for me, I like the pre hook the, mo- the most because it's like all that. Maybe it's the hook, but it has lots of tension uh, in the arrangement and in her voice. So those are parts that I'm like really into. I think she, out of a lot of the belters we've heard, um, she felt a little bit more captivating in terms of the whoa, whoa, yes. whoa. I she agree. closed her eyes like she didn't stare into our souls as she did it so i appreciate the eye closing like i feel like i could really just lean in a little bit more with her as opposed to being like okay and she opened her mouth and singing again and i think maybe the staging has something to do with it too because she's very like i don't know how to describe it but something about her just feels very um strong is that the word but I'll just say commanding again. She just felt, she feels believable and she owns the stage for me. I don't know how old she is. I can tell she's young, so she still could even get even better. But something about her was just like, okay, I want to look at her again. It wasn't like, oh, let me look at the dancers and get distracted because Lord, this is killing me. For a minimal staging, I think it was maybe the white, maybe it was the eye makeup. I don't know. But something about her was like, oh, there's potential here. Um, so yeah, I think she's, she's, she did her thing. She's a solid ooh, what's that between, I mean, among the whole, like, sea of oh, yes. singers. So, yeah, I appreciated her efforts. Yeah, I pretty much feel the same way as you. Because, honestly, by this point, I was like, all those kind of mid-tempo dark songs are kind of blending a bit for me. Um, but for her, it was really her voice that kind of makes it more memorable because it is different. Mm-hmm. Like, the belt is mm-hmm. so strong. I love how thick it is. Like, she has a really warm tone as well. 
Uh, so her voice is probably one of my favorites, actually, among all the contestants this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed the the staging of it. I thought the all white was a great choice. Um, the lighting was cool. I liked that the dancers' faces were covered. Yeah, um, kind of made it you know a little eerier, a little creepier. Um, yeah, I was into it. I gave it an eight. <laughs> I gave it a. Mm, I'll say I gave it a seven. It was like a seven point five ish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So for well, five, they actually seven did. <laughs> they actually did really well. Um, oh yeah, they got. 10th place nice shawty see everyone you got y'all can hear the difference she, she's different something about yep. her is different up next we have armenia with Ladaniva singing chaco yes Yay. yeah Thanks. i mean kind of like what we were saying about like the greek one and the italian one like this one uh-huh. just feels very cultural in like the most awesome yeah. way possible yeah. uh this performance was just really fun to watch like they not just her but like yeah. everyone on stage just seemed to okay. be just having the best time ever. And it felt like you were just like being welcomed to a family party almost. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, the, and the costuming and all that helped too, because it all felt casual, but traditional also. Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's just something nice about just like so much joy being emitted from the stage. It's like hard not to be entertained by that. Mm-hmm. And then the song is just fun like that whole sing-along yes. bridge moment um yeah i don't know it's just fun that's all that's really all it is and i, I appreciate <laughs> that no totally i think yeah. um for as simple as everything was uh, it reminded me of the music video like, if you remember the music video the same color palette of those orange those whites those very much around the way girl kind of that's such a weird thing to say with a country that's so far removed from the hood but the point is like a girl next door kind of vibe you when you watch a video you either think like wow this person is really charismatic and then they get on stage and you're like wow you do not know how to perform she brought that same charisma that same res from the camera onto the stage so when she's singing you feel like you feel like she's kind of like letting you in on the secret about the city like here's a cheese man about the city come here i'm gonna show you real quick like this is the hottest spot to go to you know like this is where we this is where we turn up at this is where come on get into the dance circle let's go like that's what it feels like um and yeah i feel like this song was a nice representation for Armenia because I feel like with Rosalyn a couple years ago with Snap, got it one, two, where are mm-hmm. you? I was like, I guess, I guess. I guess maybe that's wrong for me to say, but if I, if you're from a different country and you make a song that just sounds really generically American to me, I'm like, oh, come on. It's like a missed opportunity. Go off. They went off. And much like the, the emo operatic band, uh, this group fully commits to the bit. Not a single member was half-assing or half-butting this. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Not a single yeah. member was half-butting it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I gave it an 8.5. Uh, gave it a 9. <laughs> okay. Well, the crowd loved it. They got 8th place. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Look at us. All right, moving on to Cyprus. <laughs> Celia Capsis's Liar. <laughs> liar. What'd you think? Honestly... Okay, this was one of the videos I remember not paying that much attention to. I think when we watched the video, we were like, okay, yeah, okay. I think it was just a yellow body, the pantsuit and the and the black towel. I don't know what it was, but we just weren't like, oh, wow, one to watch. But honey, little man was not playing. And she uh-huh. gave us classic pop star. The whole outfit was just Britney coded. And I was into yes. that. Or like, it, Britney coded or Christina, come on, uh, come on over, coded. Uh-huh. Either way, it was definitely 2000s pop girly. Um... I'm impressed with her ability to sing her notes so well after dancing so hard. Like, I don't think people realize how much contraction and like muscle tension you need and looseness and oh god. And every that dance break was intense. And she's popping and she's contracting and she's locking and she's kicking in it and she's hitting it too. And then had the nerve to go, I'm gonna hit my notes right now. Yeah. I was like, girl, go off. <laughs> yes. Do your thing. Go ahead, honey. I think for me though, when they came forward. And the guys took their shirts off. That was stupid. I didn't. Uh, that was stupid. I'm like, for lack of a better word, it was uncreative. I feel like it just didn't tie into the whole like liar thing. Like you're sitting there scolding a guy for being a, a waste man, and you're gonna sit up, take off your shirts, men. Doesn't make sense. Um, I feel yeah. like the choreography was just pretty generic in terms of like, oh, I'm gonna stop you, boy. Ooh, I'm yes. gonna stop you, boy. I'm gonna kick you, boy. I'm gonna step on you, boy. Like it was just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make it a song. 
By Let's the way, not go continue my al- that one. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was no. not a good example of your songwriting. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's correct. I write bops. I write yes. hey. She writes way better than that. Go listen to her album. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you what do you think of our young Cyprian, Cypress pop singer? Look, I mm-hmm. love a female pop star that can dance. Yes. And so yeah, this is right up my alley. And yes, her live vocals were so good. Super stable. Uh-huh. Very, very impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will say, um, well, I guess just with the song itself, I actually do think it's a good pop song. Yeah. I like the sassy lyrics. It's got a nice, like, driving beat to it. Yes. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I kind of just appreciated the kind of basic um, kind of pop star girl kind of I, staging, I guess, of it. Um, yeah. I mean, basic in a good way, not like yes. it was basic, it was like but like it was just like, like simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she killed it. Like the dance break at the end, like I was like, damn, like there was a lot of technique <laughs> in there. There was like a, some isolation yeah. in there that she like hit really yeah. perfectly. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was really impressed by this. I think out of like the kind of pop star kind of contestants this time, she was up mm-hmm. there for me. Um, totally. That's one of the best ones. So yeah, this totally. one this one was good. I gave it an eight point five. Okay, I gave this one a eight. okay. Yeah. Um, yes. she was kind of middle of the road in the results. She was number fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Bad. yeah. We need some artistry. I think people just want the artistry. You yeah. know, and they want to be like, who is this person? Oh, I know now. Yeah, um, I mean, speaking... I doubt Cyprus oh. can host this. Like, it's a really small country, but yeah. Honey, you are so right. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. And if you're wondering, if you're watching this episode and you're wondering why we're like, oh, yeah, they probably didn't want to win, please watch our Eurovision 101 so you can understand why we say this and how the rules work for Eurovision. All right. So coming up next is an artist, like a, well, I'm talking about this whole time, the artistry and the distinguishable and the Switzerland with Nemo and their song is The Code. Okay. You know, when I think of The Code, I think of Shiny. <laughs> That's the code. <laughs> yeah. So this one, man, oh man. I have a migraine. Chris <laughs> knows I have a migraine right now. Okay, there's a point to this. I have a migraine. Um, But this latter half of this show cured me of my migraines enough i had so many chills through like the next like x amount of performance we're getting ready to go through yeah that my brain stopped hurting and i was mm-hmm. like oh yeah ooh, ooh, yeah and then when it stopped i was like oh my brain hurts again they are so interesting um because very much like bambi thug it felt very artistically distinct even when they came onto the stage everyone's bringing their flags they came with the nine binary flag i was like oh it kind of looks like our colors for CCTV, actually. But I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, look at this. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, wow. That's interesting. So right off the bat, it's not just, I'm not just, um, I'm not just Swiss. Swiss, Swiss. <laughs> no, I'm not just Swiss. Mm-hmm. I'm a non-binary Swiss person. So it was very much like this is who I am. And the styling with the skirt, the fur coat, I'm like, okay. Very much opposite of Bambi Thug. But again, um, the having that distinguished distinguishing feature as an artist is important but also sonically having something that's like no one else could sing this knocked it out the park with that the dynamics in their voice are bananas it's one of those damn i need to practice moments like i was sitting there like geez the range is crazy the running toward the camera and rapping was crazy and the meaning of the song i oh, sing yeah. on the cake i didn't realize that I missed out on actually paying attention to them when we were going through the 101. But the idea, like the, the, the chorus hit, no, the bridge hit, and they were talking about how Nemo said that they found themselves as a nine binary person through the O's and the ones, a binary code already. And I was like, hello, yeah. love that. That's brilliant. So it made it very much no one could sing this except Nemo. And that part is what made me go, huh? Huh, yes. I found out who won. I found out who won. I was like, really? Because I, I didn't hear the song. I didn't pay attention. That's my fault. My oops. Oh, you looked at the results before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. not on purpose because I was looking for like a stream of this. And then I yeah, found out. I was like, yeah. oh, God. And I was like, you know what, shoddy? <laughs> if it wasn't you, I had two other people in my mind for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know, so shout out to them. Like, what were your thoughts watching Hell it? Yeah. You were watching it live. So, like, yeah, I was watching your... it live. Because, um, yeah, I agree with you. This wasn't a song that necessarily stood out a ton to me, kind of when we were just yeah. going through, like, the, you know, when 
before the semis. Yeah. Um, but dang, this performance, first off, the, the vocals yeah. were amazing. They sounded amazing throughout this yeah. whole thing. That was very impressive just by itself. But then the staging with the spinning top. So basically when well, the semis happened earlier in the mm-hmm. week, there mm-hmm. were already um there was already kind of people talking about this like spinning top kind of situation and there was just footage of him just like standing on it oh. um or them standing on it sorry um mm-hmm. and i was already like whoa like what that looks so scary like that so many yeah. things could go wrong with that it's so uh, flat it's but smooth. they made it so <laughs> seamless yes. um and it's just so impressive like i've now watched that performance a couple times and each time it's just it's just as impressive as the last time yeah. um but yeah the yeah. song is cool you know it's catchy it feels anthemic uh, yeah. The operatic vocals at one point were so epic Bit. as well. Just super, super memorable. And yeah, yeah spoiler alert, it did win the competition as well. <laughs> sure. Very, yeah. very worthy winner. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I did not give it a 10 though at the time. I gave it a 9.5. Mm-hmm. I think I will stay with that given what I did give 10s to. But definitely a worthy winner. Mm, that, you know what? I yeah. actually did give it a 10 because I was like... I don't forgot what sold it for me. I was like, Sheesh, you got it. I was like, okay, yeah. 10, you can have it. Uh, but yeah, no, but I guess one to 10. Nice. Nice. Okay, moving on to Slovenia. We have Raven with Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> that name is such a strong name. You know, I remember after we did our Pop 101, I actually kind of went into a little bit of a rabbit hole with her. Um, oh. She understands her concept and she goes for it. Because I was like, her or there i don't you don't know anymore i don't know i'm sorry yeah. girl um but yeah uh she god she sells whatever the heck she is she's into it she buys what she's selling <laughs> you know what i'm saying um it's it's good the song reminds me of wood kids iron i'm not sure if you're familiar with wood kid mm-hmm. um oh but yeah how do I describe Woodkid? But Woodkid had a song. Um, if you ever played Assassin's Creed, um, in the trailer for the video game, there's a very percussive kind of sound, and then the strings going, and the horns are going, and I can kind of hear that in this song. There's a very like kind of battley. I know we've been saying war cry, but it was more like a uh, like a battley kind of a sound like sound the horns sound the trumpets in the background i was like ooh, yeah she commands the stage really well yes, i think um it felt like i was at her concert that's what i want to say it felt like i was at her concert because you know you watch some performances and like with isaac it felt like i was watching the voice or like blah 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 this felt yeah. like i was at her show but mm-hmm. they just didn't get the set pieces in on time like i feel like <laughs> if she had an opportunity to actually have the props and they didn't have to do the whole like flip the whole thing over she would eat that up. She didn't even actually need props because her dancers were props on their own. Um, I think she's not explicitly a dancer, but she moves in a way that like embodies the overall emotion of the song. And mm-hmm. again, like I said, the best half of the show, well, yeah, probably the best half of the show where yeah. these final performances, I'm super moved by her whole effort. Yes. Sure. First Ooh. off, I thought that costume was awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, look, the song is another kind of just like dark, intense, moody, bit tempo y kind of situation. <laughs> but I think there's some really great melodies in there. I enjoy yeah. the chant of the chorus. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, sounding amazing. Super, super strong. Mm-hmm. I think the, the kind of Lady Gaga esque kind of monster <laughs> crawl thing yeah. that they were going for totally matches the song like uh, just the whole musicality Absolutely. of it was awesome and yeah. just really great pictures being created there as she's just like just wailing her face off you know <laughs> yeah. um so i yeah i thought this was a actually a huge standout in the in the whole competition as well i gave it a nine. Oh, same actually yeah. yeah um well no one agreed with us because <laughs> they got to number 23 hang on out hang of 25 on, on. isn't that wild Hang on for a second. You're up. First of all, if you guys made it this far, be sure to subscribe to our <laughs> channel, our uh, uh, our Patreon. It's also we have a free tier as well, so you don't have to we pay. Do. Just come through, yeah. come through, come see some some special stuff, and um, also on uh, YouTube, obviously. Hey, um, but yeah, Europe, what's good? 
I don't think they like the creepy thing anymore. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like, I thought this one was really good. This one was actually the uh, biggest surprise for me, like, in the ratings. It might be one of those, we say it already, girl. We, again, maybe. I went down the rabbit hole. Veronica does this. So maybe it's one of those, we've seen it already. You mean Raven, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here for you. Far. We're here for you, girl. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Raven. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to Croatia. We have baby lasagna with Rim Tim Dagidim. <laughs> I mentioned this was a song I liked. Oh, I remember. You did. I think it's still a fun performance live. Uh-huh. Um, I think staging wise, the neon cattle was such a fun visual. Um, it's like a farm boy rave, a farm boy rock uh-huh. rave. Um, this wasn't a performance I would say, like, turn me into a fan. Like listening to the song, it's like super solid. Absolutely. Like it's very solid. Um, but the performance was I think carried by the nature not the the the, the dyna- dynamism of the song itself. Cause I didn't feel like I wanted to watch him as much as I wanted to be like doing the things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it sounds so yeah. weird. But I went to a show this weekend and it was the same thing. Like the performers were not great, but the fans were living their best lives because they knew every single word. They felt the energy and that kind of thing. People can see it. People can feel it. People can hear it. And that might sway them to be like, oh my God, this performance is amazing. Because for me, the dancers were like, they weren't, but even the dancers were kind of like, eh. <laughs> um, the costuming was cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like this one, but I don't know if it was like, I don't know if Baby Lasagna did it for me or it's just the whole song as, as a whole that was like, wow. Yeah. You know, and I think it's a little bit more of the wow, the latter thing I just said. So, um, what about you? Yeah, I think the song stands out in a good way, yeah. I would say. Yes. It's definitely weird, <laughs> but it's memorable. And the chorus is actually very accessible, as you saw, right? Like, you yes. saw everyone doing the, whoa, like, everyone yeah. is so into it. And, and like, yeah. I still can sing the song back. I can sing the chorus melody back to you right now, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. So whoever wrote it did a great job. Like, this was a very catchy track and definitely stood out amongst uh-huh. them. I think the lead singer has a, he has a good rock voice. Um, yes. He was going for it performance wise. You know, he participated yes. in some of the choreography. He, yes, <laughs> yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, the weird salute thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of here for it. Like, I don't mm. even know if we needed that, like, the man and woman dancing at all, really. But I guess uh, it added to kind of just the weirdness of it all. Yes, the um, um, the whole, like, you know, the the townspeople just being like, we're broke, but we're going to go to the city and party. I want to be like, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, I think I actually agree with you in that the song itself is is good enough that it kind of carried it. And, and the performance itself was like fine. But the song <laughs> was like just kind of so memorable that yeah. it kind of sticks in people's minds. Yeah. yeah. All right. That being said, I gave it a eight. Okay, I, I also it. gave it an eight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this was very close to winning, actually. Mm, this got it was. number two, second place. Bananas in yeah. pajamas. Crazy. I mean, good awesome. for baby lasagna. Good, good for, for them. Is yes. All right. Up next, we have Georgia with Nutsa Buzalade. Buzal- I think it's one of those names. I, I might be a little like Turkish leaning. I can't pronounce the, the things. I'm so sorry, y'all. But Nutsa with Firefighter. Yay. This okay. one, you know what? It did not do nothing for me. We watched it in the beginning, like the before the semifinals. I'm gonna be real <laughs> with you; it was not giving. She's one of those singers who's like, she probably has to stand real far away from the microphone when she sings because her her voice does not get its due justice in a recording. This did not feel or it didn't feel or sound the same in the recording for me. And it stinks because when you get stuff compressed and mixed down and it sounds like, it doesn't say it sounds flat, but it does not sound as like amazing as it sounded um, on stage. She is a true performer. The song is really hard to sing. Um, the choreographer, evil, evil. <laughs> Why would you make this girl do African moves and then floor work and then doing a lot of torso heavy things? And then like her breath control has to be so on point. Like honestly, for her to sit there and be doing all this back stuff and it's swinging the arms and look, I was like, evil, evil. But it was giving like what Chanel did with slow mo. She did all this dancing and still gave us vocals. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I kind of felt from this. I think lyrically speaking, the song is a little bit meh in terms of lyricism, but the melody, 
Yeah. It's decent. Yeah. yeah. And the performance is what sells it, honestly, which which is what you want. She's definitely a star. Um, I don't know if this is like her style of music, but she definitely, even if it's not her style, her voice makes it her song. So mm. as generic as the song lyrics for me were, and a little weird, like I'm a phoenix, I'm like this, but I'm also a firefighter. Like, I don't, are you putting your own fire out? That's what I'm saying. Like that. <laughs> Valid, valid. That I don't yes. like. Yes, but everything else, melody, vocals, she held it down. She's a star. I'm inspired, and I'm also curious. So okay, yeah. that's what yeah. you want too. Yeah, yeah, look, the song is like just okay. Let's be real. Like it's just <laughs> totally. like kind of a basic pop song. Uh, I cannot sing it back to you right now. I have no idea how it goes. However, <laughs> I also agree with you that she is amazing. She yeah. is so good. Yo, like her <laughs> voice, this song also is really tough to sing. Like she has God. to switch into her mixed voice so many yeah. times. Each time was super smooth and strong. She had a lot of runs in there that were all oh, man. pretty much perfectly executed. And at the same yeah. time, she was just dancing her ass off. Yeah. Like it was just so impressive. Like as a you know, we're, we've both danced on stage and we know how yeah. exhausting that is. You performed and sang a lot live on stage. Like yeah. this, as just from a performer's point of view, this was probably the most impressive performance out of everything Ooh. in this competition. Like in terms Whoa. of being able to handle all of that and uh-huh. do everything that well, uh-huh. killed it. And the dancers uh-huh. were also absolutely killing it. They were going uh-huh. to pull the F out. Like it was uh-huh. so good. Um, yeah. So yeah, look, the song was like fine, but she, yeah. yo, I will remember her. So I gave it a nine. <laughs> yes, me too. And I love her little outfit. Yes. Oh okay. yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Well, no one else was impre- as impressed as we were. <laughs> they, <laughs> they got to number twenty-one. Unfortunately. Yeah, maybe it's because of the whole I'm a phoenix rising from the ashes, but I'm also the firefighter. That's like it's just I don't like those lyrics. They're not good. <laughs> oh god, maybe you All can right. write her a better song. Don't play with me. Hit us up. <laughs> That'd be cute. I'm, Hit us I'm, up. I'm, 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 you're worried. I'm, I'm putting sitting on a love call. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, moving on to France. We have uh-huh. Sliman with yeah. Mon Amour. Mon Amour. Mon Amour? Mon Amour. Yeah. Mon Amour. Yeah, man. Mon, a- Mon Amour. <laughs> oh, 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 you're trying to, you trying to, you trying to get it in. Okay, with the accent. Okay, sorry. Oh, man. Well, this one, this one was a standout, like, even when we talked about the, just the playlist, right? So what did you think of the performance? This is my, I don't know if he'll win, but dang it, this song is good. I yes. want this. I yeah, I remember I was like, this was before I like heard um Nemo song. I was just like, this is a this is a strong song, y'all. This is a strong. Um, but yeah, no, he's definitely a contender. Like now, I mean, watching it in retrospect and also knowing what we know now, he was, he is. And I feel like for me, he did what I think the Hollow Singers creative director was trying to do. This man was just chilling in a white outfit. Mind you, he was laying down at first. And I thought it was so funny that he wasn't actually laying down because he needed to sing. I was in absolute tears. I was like, good for you. <laughs> you do not need to sell this story and lose your vocals. So, And then when he got up, he's wearing like this little mesh shirt, the pants, the hairs in the corner. Everything was just super neat and clean looking and minimal. And then the smoke comes in. And I'm like, yo, did I just die? Did I just... Am I ascending to heaven? And like, I was like, come through. I felt like it was just, just right. And I feel like that's what um, uh, the Hollow Singers creative director was trying to do. Um, Cause again, I don't mind minimal. I don't need bodies, extra bodies. Uh, Cause his, his voice has yeah. a body for everyone. Okay. And his projection. Oh, oh my God. I remember speaking of like perform. I remember when I was in high school. I dropped my microphone singing like um, like a musical song and I had to belt and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this because like it's a big note. My microphone's by my butt crack right now. I can't reach it. And I had to belt it. This man stepping back purposely brought me back to high school and I was like, oh my God, is he going to? And then he does. And the voice is still powerful. It's still chilling. It felt like he was calling out to a distant lover. I was like, that is proper staging. Mm-hmm. 
that is getting the emotion and the story across. Like, oh my God. If I ever get a chance to see this man live, I'll do it. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. I would do it. I would do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I remember when we were saying, I think it was actually you that said it, um, Look, that the song was good, but you weren't sure how they were going to stage it to kind of make it stand out on the night. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yo, they killed this. Oh they killed God. this. I thought I thought the staging was beautiful. Like even even not even before the, you know, stepping back and, and doing the whole acapella thing, which, of course, was epic. Yeah, but I loved how intimate it felt with kind of the camera. Yeah, kind of just being right on him. He was like staring just... into your soul the whole time, and he's using his hand to like move the camera around. Yeah, um, I thought it was super effective. It definitely kept my attention. Mm -hmm. And the song also builds really nicely as well. Like it starts, yeah, it's just a piano ballad, and then it kind of slowly Ooh. builds in intensity, and then the end. That's when you have like all the crashes and stuff. Like it's a perfect yeah. kind of just power ballad moment. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, his voice is just beautiful. This is for yeah. sure. I thought actually thought this was gonna win. Like when Huge. I was watching it live, I was like, "Oh, this has it." Huge. Yeah, I was like, "Damn, this is it." Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I was just like, "Honey," like I said, I don't know if he's gonna win because I said it because I was like, "It's a ballot." I'm not sure if he's gonna win, but he huge. <laughs> yeah, huge. Nemo, listen, boo boo. <laughs> if you weren't out there, Nemo. <laughs> France would have taken it whole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I gave it a 10, obviously. No, same, same. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> I do love this song very much. Yeah, well, it, it did really well. It got to number four in the rankings. Okay. Craziness. So, good job. Yes. Well, last is Austria with Colleen with the song <laughs> We Will Ray. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, before we, we start, because um, I saw some tweets going about this today, uh, yeah. they did kind of screw her over because whoever did the um, camera work, they did, they did a, it, I guess it froze. It glitched. Up, and so no one could actually see all the back clips and stuff that she was doing. <laughs> so um, <laughs> sabotage, maybe? I don't know. I'm in uh, tears. But look, I mean, the song is like, meh. And, like, we already saw, like, a couple other pop girls today. And, today. <laughs> uh, you know, this competition. And no, um, Ballad. she wasn't the best of those. No. Uh, look, the no. vocals were not great. Mm. Um, her voice is already kind of thin, so it doesn't project necessarily as well. And, like, the verses are quite low. And so, yeah. that, I mean, that's just, that doesn't help, obviously. Um, she did... Yeah find her footing a bit more when she was able to belt a bit more oh, yes yeah. i will say um but yeah the song i can't even sing it back to you i have no idea how it goes uh i j i did write that it would be fun at the clubs at least but uh, i don't know uh oh yikes okay yeah you know the what? choreography yeah was very disappointing oh like yeah no, no. other Dude. than the flips and stuff which were impressive if you could see it uh oh. I don't know, man. Like, there was just I nothing mean, memorable about it at all. And she was, like, fine. She had a decent presence. She looked really good. But yeah. it was just fine. Yeah, I said the same thing. I said she looks fabulous, but the song's not special, really. Yeah. I mean, club banger or not is just okay. Um, it, I guess it was a fun kind of performance to close the show out with. Like, you know, like, you know, we're partying. E -e -a -a. Ooh, 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 yeah. Um, she's very foxy. She worked hard. I appreciate that. Um, I hate that there was a glitch during her dance break. So lame. Yeah. But aside from that, like the song wasn't for me when I first heard it. The video was just giving like hot European woman. <laughs> and yes. Even the performance was giving hot European woman, which is fine. Um, I feel like she could sing better. And I feel like it's not a good representation of what she could do with her voice. Um, but it was a safe kind of song, I guess, to put out for the competition i don't dude i don't sure. know it's um, yeah so seven. Um, seven yeah <laughs> i'll give it a seven as well it was fine yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah um well anyway that wraps up all the performances um yeah. but yeah what did you think of just the overall show and stuff did you enjoy it yeah so it was really good i'm surprised that the performances were only an hour because i was sitting there just like do I have to watch the rest of it what's going on it was nice to see laureen it was nice to oh, see yeah the ABBA tribute with the uh, their um their CG selves. Oh um, yeah, 
That was so funny. The, 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 the past contestants, yeah, the avatars. There, yeah, that's the word. Um, the the contestants, the past contestants, and the winner um, singing um, the tribute was nice. Martin getting booed because of the that was rough. I was oh, like, yeah, yikes. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you don't know what the heck is going on, which I did not, I was like, I hate Google so quick. You have no clue. I was like, ooh, girl, what you do? <laughs> girl, what did you do? <laughs> so I think the whole juice outing kind of stinks, but hey, what can you do? In yeah. terms of the ranking, Baby Lasagna being third, I don't know. Second. I would have given, oh, second, sorry. Second, mm, I don't know. I feel like that's what could have been to, to, I feel like top three for me, Nemo. Bambi. Yeah. France. Same. France, I feel like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? France couldn't even take second, but I think Bambi, in terms of just having the vocal dynamism that we like and the whole story, definitely good. Definitely good. For, honestly, top three, I could have been following any of them, honestly. I would shoot I, those three people I named, but I feel like the list I have was pretty solid. I just, no offense to Baby Lasagna. Congratulations, yeah. though. Congratulations for getting second. But yeah, it's not my not my not my list. Not my list. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed um watching it. The hosts and all the humor throughout it were yeah. were amazing. I just yeah. love how dry European humor is. Oh my god! Um, yes. My favorite little clip was uh they had a little vignette where it was like they mentioned Abba winning. Oh my god! Yes. And they were like, yeah. oh, how did it affect the city of Brighton? <laughs> and it didn't. Like, she was like... <laughs> these two women are just like, no, like mm, did it. Girl, no. Like, yeah, and then, it, and then it just ended. Like, I thought that was hilarious. Oh, yes. man. It helps because I am actually going to Brighton later this year. Um, nice. <laughs> so I just thought that was brilliant. Like, Perfect. it was so entertaining throughout. Um, like, yeah. It did go by. They did a really good job making it go by relatively quickly, you know, with all the rankings yeah. and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to now kind of be in it and, and look forward True. to this every year. Like, I think it'll be really fun. Like a cute little thing now. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I agree. Um, anything surprise you in terms of aside from like some of the rankings, which was crazy because, boy. Um, not really. I mean, I think I actually found kind of all the all the kind of political discourse Ooh. kind of being yeah. involved uh and all the kind of different opinions regarding that i actually found that just quite fascinating to mm. just hear all the different points of view yeah. um and it just added an interesting layer to this year's competition Ooh, um, so it's definitely an interesting one for our first one. Oh, yes. yeah yes messy boots hello yeah all right eurovisioners you know what? Let us. I made that up just now. Tell me that didn't go off. Um, tell me what you all think. Tell me. Tell us what you all think about Eurovision, our rankings. Be sure to let us know what your rankings are. Let us know if we kind of miss any kind of nuances or contextual things. Let us know. You know, because we want to know. We want to get a little bit more into it and definitely check out our pop one, pop one, one. Check out our and definitely check out our Eurovision 101. Uh, where we discuss how Eurovision works and why you should care about it. And make sure to comment and DM us at CCTV to tell us all of your thoughts and let us know if we miss anything, all right? And join us on Patreon and subscribe to follow us because we have some really fun episodes and we have some more guests coming to the show. Yay! All right, y'all. Until next time, that's Chris. That's Chantel. And we're signing off from CCTV, the nonstop pop show. Yeah.